I'll see you later then. When we go to boot camp. Okay? Well, it's not night time, bubs. It's the morning. But mummy is going to boot camp. And I'll be back when you have breakfast, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hiya. I'm home. Oh, what are they? Shoes? You've been playing Snap? Ooh, 7 a.m. Mum needs to get in the shower. You okay? Where's Daddy? Daddy in bed still. Hello. Ooh. Go on then. Ooh. Right? Look at the sky. Daddy, you're being a mum. So you should come home. Feed the children. Feed them. All right, done. Kids fed. Time for brekkie. I think I'm going to have toast with my favourite cashew nut butter and banana. I actually feel okay. I actually feel really good, surprisingly. I was worried I was going to feel really drained. I'm probably going to be really tired um, <laughs> this afternoon. Likelihood, but no, I feel really good. Um, the kids seem alright as well, so I was worried they might like be like, Mommy, where are you going? You know, because Violet does freak out sometimes when I go in the evenings. But, yeah, get some fruit. Violet, are you going to get dressed? I don't know where Violet is. Violet, are you going to get dressed? Yeah, Come on. I think she's in the bathroom. Violet Wit. Violet's not here. I see um, a little monster no. under there. <laughs> You're both as bad as each other, you two. Yeah, I'm at a bus. Really? Yeah. No, you're not. I'm going to sleep on the bed. No, you're not. <laughs> so, we are like right on track, if not like way ahead of time. It's like just after eight. And I feel like I need a coffee kick. I've had a cup of tea, but I just feel, you know, you just feel, ooh, maybe it's just a need fresh hair. It's quite hot in here. The kids are pretty much ready. Bye. Um, go in the lounge because you do hair. I need to do Violet's hair because she's got a mop. <laughs> and yeah, we're all pretty much ready to go. The only thing I need to do is brush my teeth. The kids have already done theirs. And yeah, everything's set. The room, the house is pretty much tidy. I've made beds. Um, can't believe I'm actually way ahead of time, which is just like amazing, especially because I've been up since five. And I feel, I need to sit down there. My legs kind of feel like jelly. Right, we're going to do your hair. Day for day for we're going to use these. Look, we're going to do really nice Christmas pudding and then this pretty hair tie as well to make you look Christmassy, yeah? to the ground then he's gonna put some black oh she doesn't go all the way down so she's causing knots see oh then Thanks daddy fine. makes a track yeah okay. alistair guess what we're doing tonight guess what you've got after school I don't know. christmas fair at your school at five o'clock that's gonna be fun what's five o'clock yeah, Christmas Where? fair at Where's school. Where's it going to be five o'clock? Wow, after school we come home, you can have some dinner and then we'll go to the Christmas fair. Yeah. Sounds good? Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, I knew that would happen. We're at school and she's falling asleep. So, yeah, typical really. She did get up way too early. Hi everyone, so I've just done the school and nursery run. It's nine o'clock and... I've got to go back into the village and go to the doctors to pick up my second month of prescription for my antibiotics, which is exciting. I go on to second, the second month tomorrow, which, God, it's gone so quick, you know? So when I've done that, I actually need to go get the car cleaned because I'm actually having a girly Saturday tomorrow and we're actually heading to Brighton for like a day trip with three of my um, good friends um, because it's two of their birthdays like in the next week and we usually try and do something and um, we've decided to do a day trip to Brighton while it's Christmassy I haven't been to Brighton since Alistair was about a year old I think 
and yeah it would be nice just to do something different and I said I was going I would drive because I've got the sort of biggest car so it would be more comfortable and you know for shopping and whatever so I said I'd drive but obviously the state of my car at the moment is just horrendous it really needs a good clean so I'm gonna get it cleaned um, so it's nice and fresh for tomorrow. Got my prescription. How frustrating. I took my prescription to get repeated on Tuesday just because I knew it was going to run out on Friday. So they said, okay, come back come back today, which is Friday. So three days to get my prescription done. They didn't even do it. She was like, oh, sorry. It's been really busy up until Christmas, blah, blah, blah. To, so basically I sat there for like 15-ish minutes waiting for my prescription to be done. I basically should have just come in today instead of Tuesday. Anyway, let's not moan anymore. <laughs> um, I need to get petrol because I'm on the red nearly. It's 2.5 degrees. It's cold today. It feels cold. It doesn't feel icy though. It just feels cold. Um, I've got to get the car cleaned. I've got to get my brother's other half a birthday present because it's her, it's her birthday today. And we're actually going out for dinner tonight. It's just an adult dinner. So the kids are actually being looked after by one of our um, nursery assistants at Violet's Nursery. So we know her just qualified um, just for a few hours while we head out to dinner tonight so oh my god it's such a long day we've got the Christmas fair as well at five we're going out for dinner about half seven it's just a manic it's gonna be manic today and Graham's dad's asked me to work and for an hour and I seriously just don't have the energy the time I feel bad saying no but I just don't have the time I really don't I've got to clean the house as well I've really got to hoover the house um, but yeah so that's plan for some this morning anyway <laughs> quick before of the car filth okay car is cleaned they said it was going to take half an hour i mean they were busy anyway so i was thinking nah it'd probably be longer oh my god my leg is killing me from this morning see how white my car is it's so nice yeah that will probably last till monday maximum and it'll probably be back to like mud splattered you know they charge eight pounds for that usually um i don't usually just have the outdoor out the outside cleaned i usually go for the full works just because it just makes sense really just to get the inside done as well um but yeah it's eight pounds and there was like it was caked with mud so yeah that was a bit of a bargain i felt a bit bad actually so yeah that took over an hour i ended up having a coffee in cafe nero i had a um, chai latte which was like probably one of the best chai lattes i've had the bloke that did it he obviously just has the knack of not overdoing it with the chai so good i thought i would um show you the turkeys because it's really sad to say although obviously i'm so used to this every year we you know we have turkeys they are actually uh, next week they are going next week for obvious reasons you know Christmas coming up they need to be hung so that sounds awful doesn't it um, but yeah I want to show you them anyway because they have got so big look how beautiful they are obviously these are the stags the one with the funny bits these are the female ones here they're a lot smaller I think we're pro I'm not sure if we're going to have a stag because there's so many people that want really really big turkeys this year like 22 to 24 pounds so yeah look how beautiful they are they are so uh, friendly look at him over there puffed up yeah I can see you Mr Cockerel coming down anyway I got a present for my brother's other half give to her tonight i'll show you what i got her they were doing 20 percent off jewels um all accessories so i got her a really nice scarf and some really fluffy socks she loves fluffy socks every time i see her if i go around the house she's always wearing fluffy socks i thought get her like a nice pair because jewels are really good quality anyway so i got her some of those and i'll show you them actually and i picked up a couple of extra bits from sainsbury's one really good thing about sort of getting up super duper early although obviously i'm feeling pretty tired today to be honest I'm kind of dreading I'm looking forward to the weekend but I'm kind of dreading it because I'm just going to be so burnt out by Sunday I'm just you know I've got a late night tonight and then an early morning to Brighton tomorrow all day out I'm staying in Portsmouth tomorrow night with my friends um, because one of them lives in Portsmouth so we just you know it's a shorter trip from Portsmouth to Brighton then all the way back to my house so I'm staying there and then obviously on Sunday morning I'll be coming home and 
Sunday I thought I was going to vlog. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog. It just depends how I feel. If I'm completely drained, then yeah, it's going to be a full on PJ Sunday. Um, I'll show you what I got. So from Jules, I got, oh, I got her a card. This one. I thought that was quite cute. I just could not find any nice cards. It just took me ages because um, I forgot to look for one in Sainsbury's. So I got her these socks. Um, so they were 20% off. They're fluffy and there's something I would totally wear. Um, and then I got her this scarf. Again, I love this scarf. I was tempted to get it myself, but obviously I don't need it. So yeah, that was originally £15, but I got 20% off. Um, yeah, so that is going to be, I'm going to wrap that up in a minute and that's going to be her present for this evening. So I already bought the kids PJs for Christmas Eve, but I saw these in Sainsbury's, they're 25% off. So I got them, got these onesies for six pounds and I just, I just pictured them Christmas day with matching onesies, honestly, and look how like retro and cute these look. So I got them both these and I, you know, they could wear them throughout New Year as well. There's no reason why they can't wear them, keep wearing them. So, and the other ones are fine as well. They're kind of like winter jammies anyway. So. Yeah, I got the kids those. That was a bit of a random splurge. But I mean, £12 for two onesies is an absolute bargain, I think. I got these for Alistair for his um, um, some extra stocking fillers. I've been doing a little treat like every five days, um, as in like other, something other than chocolate. Um, so these were actually on offer for three for £5 and usually they're £2.50 each. So that was basically one free. So that's quite good. I got Violet this, which I know she's going to love. It's a little necklace with pretend clip-on earrings and a bracelet. And this was half price and I got it for, I think in the end, I ended up getting it for 187 which is pretty good. Um, so I got that for one of her stocking fillers. Um, not stocking fillers, I keep saying stocking fillers. Advents, is that, they're advents, that's what I mean. Um, not stocking fillers. And then I also got these as well. They were a pound each, I think, or 50 pence each, something like that. I ended up buying something. It's just what I'm like, a nightmare. Absolute nightmare with shopping. It's just an addictive habit, it really is. I'm actually going to, because I've already had chai latte, I think I might just have some water. And oh, I feel really coldy and I can't stop coughing. Um, I think I'm just going to chill and I need to hoover. I might do that. I might do that before I get by. It's half 11, so I've got enough time just to chill for a bit. I might put the telly on. And I also need to publish um, my Vlogmas Day 5 today as well. So I'll probably just do that really. Chill out for a bit. I need to put some washing on. I think I'm going to do a Violet wash today. Well, I know what I was going to show you. I actually um, changed Violet's room around last night. <laughs> really randomly. But I absolutely love it. And... I don't know what's wrong with me. I think when we moved in, we were so adamant just to put everything in the room. We didn't even think about positioning. So we just kind of, as long as it fitted in, it kind of mattered. That's all that mattered, really. So I changed her room around. Um, and usually her bed was actually along here. Because she hasn't had her single bed for very long, when she went from a single a toddler bed to a single bed, um, I thought, oh no, it's probably the only place to put it. But actually, we've put it along here and it fits so nicely. I'm going to, I've got one of these. This one was actually supposed to be Alistair's because he had three of them. He's got two in his room, but I'm going to put one there. We can just like put picture frames up. Um, those are from home base. And yeah, her bed's there now. So it kind of, again, it just, I don't know. It just makes the room look a lot bigger, especially this side. There's a lot more space. Um, her bed was originally that side so yeah I'm getting the buzz of just moving everything around and just making it look a bit more different. Violet loved it and she actually sat really well in her bed and I was worried she might fall out because um, although she's got a bed rail that side and I put it that side because of the heater um, Graham said it would be safer just in case she stretched her arm out and you know touched it or something even though it's not that hot but we put it that side and usually she'd be up against a wall one side but she was absolutely fine she she just slept straight in the middle okay, so i've just been doing some editing it's i think it's 20 past quarter past 12 now i just basically edited all this um video together so far which is like 15 minutes already i talk too much that's my problem i talk all the time i suppose because i've got no one else to talk to i just talk to my camera talk to you so um obviously because i'm having 
you know, we're going to the Christmas fair, which is from five till seven. I said to Graham, leave no later than half six because we just don't have time to mess about because we have to be out for, um, to get ready to go to dinner for half seven. Um, I'm going to get, I'm literally going to quickly get ready, like within hardly any time at all. That's pretty easy, just throw on some clothes. But basically I'm going to sort out some clothes for tomorrow, pack my bag for when I go to my friend's house tomorrow, get my clothes out ready for tomorrow, for the day, and get my clothes out for tonight, choose what to wear basically, because I don't really know what to wear. Okay, outfit plan. <laughs> so I've picked out three things that I could wear tonight. I'm definitely going to wear trousers. I mean, it's a nice restaurant, but it's not anything i don't want to go too dressy i want to be comfortable something i can throw on as well and not feel too uncomfortable after eating too much so i've got that top which is bowden top which i really like and i could wear that it has actually be, uh, been ironed already but obviously being in a wardrobe it always gets creased the bowden necklace it's quite nice it's not too dressy it's kind of a silky really nice and then i've got these jewels um trousers you can see they're kind of shiny a bit more dressy and i thought maybe that that tucked in to the trousers might look nice with some like navy painting stilettos or something or i can go for this is a new top which you may have seen already or you might not it depends if i've published the haul yet before you see this but this is from um matalan it's really nice really really pretty um, I don't exactly know how it looks on, so yeah, we'll see what that happens. And then I've got this little Topshop necklace. It's not too statementy because the top's quite kind of shiny. Um, and then I've got the pleather trousers. Again, I can wear them with, I was thinking with like some black sort of short heeled boots. Um, but then I've also got this Tesco um, top, which is really nice actually. It's a really nice cut. It fits me really quite flatteringly um, with the V. And then just a gold necklace. I think that may be from H&M. Um, so well, that's outfit ideas for this evening. They're ready to go. I can try them all on before I go out. Um, and then I've got an outfit for tomorrow. Which I want to be comfortable but I want to look nice. So I've got my jewel shirt. I've got a nice um, jumper which is from Primark. It's only £5 this, these jumpers. Just to go over the top to keep me warm. Some really uh, skinny jeans. I'm going to wear like, little short ankle boots. And then my the white stuff um, belt. So that's my outfit for tomorrow. Obviously, I can't sort out toiletries till tomorrow morning anyway. So I'm gonna get prepared and organised. I really need to paint my nails, but I'm not sure what colour to paint them since I don't know what I'm wearing. Hmm, let's have a look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with lychee because I think that will go with every outfit and it won't look too much. So maybe I do like a glitter. Um, Sort of ring finger. We're back from nursery run. Um, it's quarter to two. Violet is here. Bye. She's tired. She's very tired. So she's really, really um, miserable. <laughs> she's having just a quick snack. She decided on a custard cream biscuit. It's quite a good snack, you know, especially for this weather. <laughs> um, I haven't actually had lunch, but I thought. I, I'm generally, I wasn't feeling that hungry. I'm hungry now, but I thought it would be better anyway to wait a bit longer because we're not going out for dinner till later. Our table's booked for eight o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna have lunch now. Typically, Graham came back um, for lunch for himself um, when I went off to, uh, off to nursery run. So we basically just pass each other again. So he's back at work now because he's just really busy. It's, just, it's a really busy time at the moment. So I'm gonna get myself something to eat. I think I might have some fruit. Um, maybe, ooh, those plums seem nice. Maybe a sandwich or something. I actually decided on a spinach omelet for lunch. Really fancy that. I have literally just hoovered. I need to wrap up, ooh, I'm gonna drop it. Wrap up uh, this present really quickly. I'm filling the card and Violet's actually in the lounge watching a movie. Although it's her birthday, I'm tempted to use this, the other um, sort of sausage dog, you can see it? Um, wrapping paper that I've got because it kind of looks more birthday-ish, doesn't it? Because of the colours. So I might use that and it's really cute, isn't it really? There we go, look how cute that is. I think that's adorable and I haven't got a gift bag, sadly. I haven't got any decent ones. All of them are like kid friendly, like kiddie stuff all over it, all their Christmasy. We've got to go get brother. Any minute. 
I'm yeah, just um, tired. I'm Are you tired, Vi? No. I think she is. Uh, no, I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I can I'm, sleep right I'm, now. I can just uh, shut my eyes and sleep. Let's see what happens. So, it's a bit later now. I did school run. Violet had like a massive power nap. She slept from probably about 10 past 3 till about 4 o'clock, or just after 4. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's only quarter past 4 now, so she's not long been awake. I just felt like she really needed it. She was so tired. Even though she didn't admit it, she, she was like, I conked oh. out as soon as we got in the car. So I think she's extremely tired. We're not going to the Christmas fair, I've decided. It's just, it's not right. She's not, she's too tired. And to be honest, it's so much of a rush and a faff. It's just too much, really. So we're not going to the Christmas fair. I'm going to get them both into bed nice and early for the babysitter that's coming round. Um, I'm just about to put the dinner in the oven um, I marinated we had some leftover chicken drumsticks and uh, two drumsticks and one thigh and I marinated them overnight in some like barbecue sauce so they're going to have some chicken drumsticks for tea tonight which is like something they really love they love anything they love anything on the bones like ribs they love that sort of thing so yeah they're going to have that and I'm just going to maybe do some rice with it and some vegetables so this is the zebra that I drawed Alistair. I drawed the zebra, <laughs> look at it. And then he did stripes, which is quite good. And now he wants me to draw him a cheetah. I honestly don't know how even where to start. I'm thinking of a long cat. <laughs> it's official, I can't draw. I can draw a bear apparently, and I can draw a mouse, but I can't draw a cheetah. <laughs> Go on then, you show me how to do it. Because I am terrible. I'm a Wow, that is some really good tracing, Alistair. Really good dinosaurs, aren't they? <laughs> okay, options. This top, you can see the shiny. It's quite nice. It's kind of got that bit there. I'm not too sure about that. It looks kind of a bit too much, you know? I don't know. Why do they do that? The I'm going to wear these boots, which oh, a bit grubby. I've only worn them twice, but um, they're so comfortable. I got them from next just recently. I think they're in the wide fit as well. Yeah, wide fit. And they are so comfortable. They're only about £30 as well, so really reasonable. Um, I'll show you the other top. Oh, there's this one, which I think is quite nice. I like the fact that it's longer. Just, it's not as like, I'm not saying the other one's revealing, but it's just a bit more sort of flattering, covers more. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I have to ask Grey, I think. We're home, it's like half eleven, babysitter's just gone, kids were like amazing apparently, no problems. <sighs> I had two glasses of wine, I'm really tired and I've obviously got to get up so yeah, I had a really really good night, stuffed, absolutely, had like three courses and yeah, ready for bed, I will see you all again very soon and um, Good night, I am knackered, absolutely knackered.